Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam Ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Qala Allahu ta'ala Fi kitabihi al-kareem Ma khalaqtu al-jinn wa l-inti lal ya'budun Have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me except for the purpose of worshiping me here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clarifies or dictates for us what that divine purpose is for the believer that the mu'min realizes he or she realizes that there is a reason for the the wonders of creation that we're created for a divine purpose we're created to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of this all of the wonders all of the things we witness and we use and we unfortunately abuse in this creation but the 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 usage should be to formulate a stronger relationship with Allah azawajal And the more we realize and actualize that Tawheed, Tawheed al-Ibadah, Tawheed al-Uluhiyah, that we will come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and fearing Him more, a taqwa, and we have a direction. And a similitude would be walking on this path. If we had no outcome, we just walked and just, uh, if I keep going forward into these trees, if, aside from getting lost, I'll probably get injured because I have no path. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a path. Suratullahi al mustaqim A direction, a goal, and a purpose. Subhana. Which is to worship Him and Him alone. صلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم